Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to learn how to make cheesesteak egg rolls. Let's get started. First we're going to cook the meat. I use this original Philly cheesesteak from Sam's Club. They also have this at Restaurant Depot. Um, you can use the frozen stuff at your store. I've seen recipes where they use roast beef, but I would not use that because it's not a cheesesteak. I'm cooking this on the flat top griddle. If you have a black stone at home, you can use that, or you can just cook it on your stove with a pan. Any way to get the cheesesteak meat cooked. So this is frozen. I'm just letting it warm up a little bit to be able to be ripped apart. start flaking it off as it defrosts. So as this starts to defrost, you can just get a section and just get two spatulas or if you have one of these and just start chipping it off. So I'm just going to take it off. Now we need to cut onions. You can either do it this way, or you go straight down, and you come in from the side. Just watch your fingers, and then you're going to go down. Or you can do it how I typically do it, which... I love for the uniformity and we're going to use a chopper. I really love using the chopper to chop onions because it makes them very uniform. Well, maybe not very uniform, but it makes them look nicer. All right, I'm gonna go cry and finish cutting these onions. The onions are done, so I just put some butter in the pan and we're gonna add the onions. We're gonna saute them. Typically, I 
will just cook the onions on the griddle with the cheesesteak meat. But I had a couple requests this week for no onions in their egg rolls. So I'm going to add these after I make the basic cheesesteak mix and I take out what I need without onions and then I'll add them in. I'm going to let these saute a little bit and we're going to go set the mixer up with the cream cheese. The cream cheese is in here already. I mixed that up. We're going to add in some black pepper. You want to be generous with your seasoning. Some garlic powder. Some onion powder. Salt. We're going to add some cheddar cheese. Now, it might seem like I'm adding a lot, but don't forget I'm doing a really large batch. So, it might look like a lot, but it's not. And then I'm going to add in Cooper Sharp. I'm going to just lower this down so I can get this in. Cooper Sharp is like American, but it has kind of... I don't know, a different flavor, and I just love it. It's especially great in cheesesteaks and cheesesteak egg rolls. Dumping it all over. in provolone or mozzarella but apparently I left my mozzarella at home after I went shopping for work so I'm not going to be adding it. I'm going to turn this off so it mixes faster. You're going to want to scrape down the sides. Now that the sides are scraped, we're going to add in our meat. Now we're going to mix it. This is the stage now where you're going to want to taste it for seasoning and make sure it tastes good. Now I'm gonna pull out the portion that I need without onions, and then I'm gonna add the onions into the rest of the batch. There's the onions. I'm just gonna give it a mix, and then we'll be done. Here it is. I'm gonna wrap it and put it in the fridge overnight because this works best when it's firm. It's the next day, and our cheesesteak mix has hardened up. This one is no onions and this one has the onions. We're going to use these egg roll wrappers. I just get these ones at the grocery store or restaurant depot. Walmart has them. And then also you're going to need just a little dish of water. I have a sheet pan here I'm going to put them on and then I have my oil warming up. So let's get started. Normally when I do it, I lay them all out on the table to just do a bulk production, but I'm just going to show you a couple. So when you lay it down, you're going to want it in a triangle at the top. I try to lay them in the pattern so I get the most on the table at once. I'm going to do my onion one first, that way I don't contaminate the oil with onion. You can just use your hands, it's up to you, and get a little bit 
Uh, I guess it's not a little bit, but I'm going to put it about that far up. I'm just going to do all these ones real quick. When these cook, they will puff up, so don't overstuff them too much because you don't want them oozing out in your oil. just going to start cooking them. Just gently place it in there. If they seem like they're getting brown too quickly, you're going to want to turn your heat down. We're just going to put them on a paper towel to drain. Let the oil drip off a little bit. is all done. I'm going to let these cool off and then I'll package them up for the customer to pick up today. They will reheat them, so I don't want them too brown. I include instructions to put them in the oven or they're great in the air fryer. I send a small cup of cheese sauce to go with these as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Have a great day.